So we have to perform several tasks on this function. Uh, first is that we have to find a, we have to draw a graph, then we have to find the curvature, uh, equation of the oscillating circle at zero zero, and draw a graph of oscillating circle at zero zero. Then we have to repeat the process at three three, and three three is a point lying on the graph of this function. So let's start with that. So the first thing that we will do is that introduce symbolic variables x, y. So our function is fx equals 4x square divided by x square plus 3. So what we would do is that we shall enter the expression as we usually do and bring in the plot command and we are doing this that we are plotting it between x equals negative 4 and 10. Uh, first let's clear the handwriting then we keep the plot box aspect ratio at 1 1 1 and x is being equal and graph it. Now hit control enter and the graph should show up right here. Now we would like to find the curvature at 0 0 and for the curvature Remember, we will calculate the curvature by taking the value of the second derivative, its absolute value, uh, divided by 1 plus f prime at 0. Okay. This quantity is squared, whole thing to the power 3 over 2. All right. Now, first, let's ask it to hold on to the graph. Okay and then we shall have MATLAB obtain the first derivative and the second derivative for us. So if you notice this is the first derivative and this is the derivative of the first derivative. So this is the second derivative. All right. So first let me get rid of my handwriting. So if we recall the formula the curvature was what? the absolute value of the second derivative which remains the same then 1 plus the value of the first derivative is square which is right here to the power 3 over 2 so our curvature turns out to be simply 8 over 3 so that's the answer for curvature now let me clean the handwriting again and then uh, let us write the oscillating circle at 0, 0 right here. So before that, let me just take it to a bigger window okay, right here and then talk about it here. So the curvature at 0, 0 is 8 over 3. So the radius of the oscillating circle, uh, by oscillating circle, I mean this circle here with the center towards the concave side here. So the radius of the oscillating circle will be 3 over 8 okay and where would that lie or where would the where would the center be rather center would be you know we start at 0 0 go towards this perpendicular line which is the y-axis in this case and right here 0 3 over 8 is going to be the center of the oscillating circle and the radius is 3 over 8. So for the oscillating circle, what do we get is x minus 0 is x and then y minus 3 over 8 is square equals 3 over 8 is square is an equation of the oscillating circle here. So let's go ahead and quickly use MATLAB to draw it. Before bringing the command, let's just first erase it. Actually, I should not have erased the whole thing. But anyways, our equation of the circle is then y minus 3 over 8 is square and then 3 over 8 is square, which will be 9 over 64. Now, instead of solving for y, it will be a good idea to just use the uh, implicit implicit function plotter. So that's how we did implicit plots and here we are doing in two dimensions. I mean we did in three before. There we used to put it, you know, implicit plot three dimensions but here we are in the plane curve. So I just went ahead and uh, entered the equation and for line width I just took three 
and then uh, let's go back here and if I press control enter uh, the graph should come up see it's right here and we can see it in the in a bigger form that our oscillating circle is you know over here and you can change the colors of these by just coming to the edit window just go to the figure properties and then here uh, it tells you what all the graphs are say we want to use the uh, color of the circle let's change the color of the circle to black so that we can see it more prominently so it's right here okay so we have graphed our oscillating circle here now what we have to do next is that we have to uh, find the tangent lines and the normal line at the point 3 3 so for that first we shall need the first deriv the value of the first derivative at 3 so let's have the MATLAB give us that value so we'll put control enter and the value is how much 1 over 2 so the slope of the tangent line at 3 over sorry at the point 3 3 is 1 over 2 so the tangent line is line passing through 3 3 with a slope of 1 half so that will be y e y minus 3 equals 1 half x minus 3 and if you solve it for y will be 1 half uh, x and then just move 3 over to the to this side that will be y equals one half x plus three over two and if we go for the uh, for the normal line okay or the perpendicular line uh, what will happen the slope there would be negative two negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent and then again we shall have uh, y minus three i'm sorry okay, y minus uh, three equals negative two x minus 3 that is y equals negative 2 then we get plus 6 and that's negative 3 walking over to the right becomes positive 3 so we'll get y equals negative 2x plus 9 so why don't we go ahead and plot these in the same window so we will bring it over here and we are going to use simply just the f plot okay and and we'll do it in the same window as before so we got this sorry to make it big i just okay i had and i'm just asking it to hold on even though i may not have to so what we want to do here is this that we did not define a function or let's not define that function because we can just write it right here it's 0.5 times x so we will write 0.5 times x and then plus 3 over 2 i'm just going to write as 1.5 okay and then we will come to the lower side okay and uh, here what will happen uh, remember this our function is negative 2x plus uh, 9 so we'll go negative 2 and remember this we have put a star for the multiplication sign plus uh, what 9 here okay and uh, then we'll say control enter at the end and the graph should appear and here are the graphs so let's just go ahead to a bigger window and here we have uh, the the graphs of that and we'll just restrict the uh, windows in a way so that uh, it's just showing the normal line to be too big so let's go ahead and just limit the y-axis between negative 5 and 5 and first let's just erase all this from here so what we shall have is that we are restricting our x values to be the same as before between negative 4 and 10 but for y we are just limiting it to negative 5 to 5 so press ctrl enter now we have to find the curvature at 3 3 okay so for the curvature at 3 3 what we have to do is remember this that uh, we had set in the command window that g is fx and h is f double prime x 
So what we have to do is, well, if we go to the curvature formula, we shall look at the absolute value of H at 3, then 1 plus G at 3. This quantity is squared to the power 3 over 2. So let's just go ahead and get the get these values from the MATLAB window. I mean, I had meant the command window. So let's ask it for G at 3 and then H at 3. Okay, press Control Enter. All right. So the values should be here. So the first derivative or G at 3 is 1 half and H at 3 is negative one third so what the curvature would be so uh, what i did was this that instead of typing these uh, values one half negative one thirds i just went ahead and just type this expression here that absolute value of h3 which is the second derivative and just you know wrote it right here in this form and then press control enter so this is the value of the curvature so the radius of the curvature would be how much just the reciprocal so what we have is let's just do this let's just call it k okay and when we do this just to press control enter our k is going to be 8 square root of 5 over 75 so that's the curvature and remember this our radius of curvature is the reciprocal of the curvature okay so here i pressed control enter so we get, got our radius of curvature right here that we are going to use for uh, graphing the osculating circle that i had been calling as osculating circle anyways so let's go towards the graphing of osculating circle at 3 3 so here we are again at uh, 3 3 and this normal line has equation y equals negative 2x plus 9. Now the, cir the circle of curvature or osculating circle will have center here. So if the x coordinate is c then the y coordinate would be what? Negative 2c plus 9 and what this length will be this length will be r so what we have to do now is in order to find c is that uh, just go ahead and solve this equation c minus 3 square plus negative 2c plus 9 minus 3 squared by the distance formula and that has to equal r squared so that should give us c or uh, i'm just <laughs> simplifying it by hand so negative 2c plus 6 squared equals r squared and let's go ahead and solve this equation so first let me go ahead and erase all this because all we need now is uh, this portion here okay so now what we can do is this just come here and define an equation all right and the equation is c minus uh, 3 squared okay and plus let me okay that's all right i wanted to write it in the background but that's okay and then plus uh, 6 square and then minus r square and then we will have double equal sign 0 and now what we want now is we want to solve the equation so we should just put second enter and let's wait for the output stay here i'm getting rusty here we should have defined c as a symbol and then solve equation for the variable c and then say control enter let's see what this does now so here we have the two solutions one of them is 9 over 8 and the other one is 39 over 8.
So if we go back to the uh, bigger graph, first let me erase this here. Okay, then what uh, we have is that for C, that is for the coordinate of the x coordinate of the center, we had what we had two values, right? One of them was 9 over 8, and the other one is 39 over 8. Now you can see that the center would be towards the concave side, so this value is out because this will be on this side of the line. Okay, so we shall take our C as how much? C is 39 over 8. So the y value would be how much? So the this is the x coordinate actually for the center, and for the y coordinate we will have negative 2 times 39 over 8 plus how much? 9. So our y will be uh, negative 39 over 4 plus 9. That is negative 3 over 4, I think. Yes. Okay. So now we can write the equation of the circle and just go ahead and graph it that we know that the center has its x coordinate as this and y coordinate as negative 3 over 4. And an equation of the circle will be x minus 39 over 8 square plus y plus 3 over 4 square. And remember our radius of curvature is r with the value that I forgot. But anyways, we can just put that in the command window. Okay. And an equation of the circle will be x minus 39 over 8 square plus y plus 3 over 4 square. And remember our radius of curvature is r with the value that I forgot. But anyways, we can just put that in the command window. Okay. But first, let me quickly erase all this. All right, because it's like, okay, right here. Okay, now I shall go ahead and make an implicit graph of the way we had done it near zero, zero, which took much, much less time. And here I have been doing it forever. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is just change the values here. Uh, we have uh, x minus uh, 39 over 8. So third, sorry, yes, 39 over 8, okay, uh, squared. All right, then plus uh, y plus 3 over 4 squared. So here is plus, and there we got 3 over 4. And over here, I think we can simply put r squared because this guy knows what r is. And then just say control enter. Let's see what happens then. We should have graph coming up. Oh yes, and we have a graph, and I have we have a nice looking graph here of the oscillating circle. So let me just uh, bring that up for you. So here we go, uh, and actually I can do this. Go ahead and just clear all the drawings, and then now you can see that we have uh, both the oscillating circles as desired. So uh, I mean I don't expect you to see the entire video. I will. Uh, I, I'm going to put the command here, you know, in the in the description box. All right, so go ahead and enjoy.